So these are Apple's brand new second generation AirPods Pros. And if you actually own a pair of these, you may be left wondering what are some cool accessories that will not only provide protection for these AirPods and some excellent ways to maintain the second generation AirPods Pros. As I'm gonna go ahead and go on Amazon and peruse and see what accessories would be the essential accessories to definitely pick up for your AirPods. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and search for some AirPod accessories right now. So these hook ones, I don't really have that many fitting issues, but I know that these are actually very useful in situations if you find yourself doing high intense motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually add these Elgos, Elagos ear hooks. Comes available in a variety of different color choices. I'm gonna stick to white. Now the reviews look promising, nearly 20,000 reviews, and the majority of them are pretty positive, aside from this one in the visual. And it seems like they might have an interference problem with the transparency mode. Well, I guess we'll be the judge of that. Let's go ahead and apply the coupon code and quickly add this to cart. And here they are. Unique package, just like a logo always has. I have a good experience with this brand. I have owned many of their accessories and I still use some of them to this very day. So these ear hooks, one thing for sure is that they actually are made of a hard, almost like texture silicone. It's not that really stretchy silicone, it's actually the hard stay and put silicone, which is good, I hope. And here's our AirPods too. Let's take one earbud out of the case and just quickly feed one in, like this one, the right side. Actually, I should verify if it's not already labeled. So yes, it is labeled right side. So of course we're gonna use the right side earbud. Goes in like so. And here they are, and apologies about earlier about the mic quality. I don't know if you noticed, but two separate mics, but it should be resolved now. I actually have these hooks on right now on my ear. And uh, yeah, that one comment about the uh, transparency mode. There's no issues with it, but these ear hooks are extremely stiff. I personally would not recommend because even after an hour of just me casually wearing these, it's starting to hurt me. I'm starting to experience ear physique pretty badly. Which is why in the next video, the next product I'm going to go ahead and feature, I recommend those. But to the most part, I mean, they still will do an excellent job staying put. But again, the next one is better. Trust me. Now, if you do have a habit of losing the earbuds individually, you can actually purchase a loop strap thing. That'll basically convert those two individual earbuds into one single connection. And this one is a six pack strong magnets AirPod strap anti-loss. And yes, it should work on the first and second generation or even other generation versions of AirPods earbuds. The reviews seem fairly all right. So fine by me, I'm gonna go ahead and add this cart and see if it's any good. And boom, it's right here. So yeah, it comes in a pack of variety of different colors, blue, gray, and white, red, as well as black. And the whole concept of these, ooh, they also include the hooks. Let's see real quick if these are better than the previous one we tested. Make sure they're labeled or not labeled. It looks like one size fits all. There's no right or left. We use this in the hole. Now, the thing I've already have noticed is uh, with the new AirPods Pros, has a sliding volume. Okay, forget these. Just buy this pack instead because the hooks that comes included in these are so much better. Look at this. These are extremely easy to install and they stay on extremely well and they're actually comfortable and my glasses are the things that fall off but not the airpods so yeah forget about those previous ones that i featured just go ahead and pick up this pack now these hook ones are good and all they will get the job done very similar to like the first one that we already covered but the con to these is that you have to remove these the silicone each and every time you want to place them back in the charging case to properly charge. So I would personally, based off my personal experience, I would recommend not getting these and just get the silicone cover like these ones, which is also by Elago, as these should provide the necessary grip that's needed and should still dock properly fine in the charging case. And this has a good amount of reviews, overall good star rating. So I'm gonna go ahead and definitely add these to cart. And here's those silicones, easy package, quickly have access to, that fell off the table. And even though we could color match, mix match them if we want, they do provide the both two necessary colors if you like to actually match them instead. So we're going to take one gray and one black, grab our earbud, advice to remove the little silicone tip. And I hope these are made for the second generation because the sensors have moved. Well, that flew off. And here they are. So installing them they do have alignment issues but for my testing they do automatically still work with the skin 
sensor so it will automatically resume and pause and play whenever i remove an earbud so i guess that's a pro and uh they do make it a little bit thicker so as i place it in my ear it does create a better tightness should help it improve sound quality preventing audio from easily leaking in or out so these not bad just uh wait a little bit longer until they actually make the official ones for the airpods sec pro second generation because these obviously have a fitting problem it's not perfectly lined so keep an eye on the video description down below in case there's a new updated version i'll be sure to update it but as of right now yeah i don't know why amazon recommending these when i type in airpods second generation Ooh, dust guards i have these on my first generation airpods pros and to this very day they've been holding on very well the benefits of having dust guards is typically this little glossy plastic on the airpods case himself gather dust and particles and over time they're gonna add like a bunch of scratch marks and such and to preserve the quality and the airpods from getting all beat up and junky looking dust cards were my go-to accessory so i'm gonna go ahead and definitely add these the only con to these things is that they're a pain in the butt to install but once they're on they're on for good now i highly recommend going with the first brand that was lago because i have used off-brand ones and it feels like a thin a strip of aluminum easily tears off a lago it's a little bit thicker and higher quality i'm gonna go ahead and select a different color normally i go with dark gray I think I should try out their either purple or rose gold. Let me see how the images look like. So I'm going to go ahead and select the gold one. And let's go ahead and add this to cart. Look at this. 18 karat gold, allegedly. I doubt it. But uh, yeah, this is one pair. You can buy other pairs too. They include like set of one or two. But I did indeed decide to go with the rose, uh, not rose, gold color. And um. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and carefully install these and yes, the silicone tips, the silicone covers actually still fit in here and charge just fine. Uh, yeah, again, this is super time consuming. So I'm going to go step outside the camera and install it. Wish me luck. And just like that, it is installed. No interference whatsoever. Although I do have a bubble right here as the only con. So hopefully over time that adhesive will actually stay on this thing. But if that bubble doesn't go away, I'm gonna have to buy another pack. But aside from the bottom section, the top portion stayed on really well. Has a nice satisfying secure click to it. And there should be no interference issues with the AirPods. Huh, even goes in just fine with that silicone cover. It's just added protection and also stylizes your AirPods a bit more as well. Now another accessory we should at least try it and look into is maintaining the airpods allowing it to continue having the best sound quality possible by cleaning up the speaker grill and such and so one of the best tools is one of these cleaning pens for the airpods pros they're reasonably priced and it's basically an all-in-one tool and this one in particular has nearly 20,000 reviews pretty good positive rating so let's go ahead and add this cart and see if this product really is any good and here's one of them so i had to switch it to this other product due to the fact that the one that we featured in the video had a delay it wasn't going to get shipped within two days it was going to get shipped a lot longer and this was like next day shipping so i selected this for everything to arrange and come in at once and honestly i think this one looks better because unlike the other one this one actually has a unique style to it which also had decent reviews and it looks like a usb a usb memory stick basically a, a thumb drive and this just opens up you have little brushes wow really thin brushes it feels like it's plastic but it's not look at that that's interesting and then you have other ports right here so this one i'm assuming goes in the charging port of your airpods you squeeze this in everything out you also dig in here not bad and then the other one slides out and this one will reveal a sharp end now the only thing i wish the thing included was instruction guys how to use this but if we are actually going to be using this to clean the speaker grill let me just remove this and like look for any earwags that's like wedged in here these are still new so of course it's not going to have anything but if there was earwags i'm assuming you will take this piece and just do this so we'll clean the sensor and other parts that these airpods typically have and then just slide this back in and put the top cover back on it's basically a three-in-one like all-purpose cleaning brush not bad this could also be used to like clean up your iphone speaker grill and stuff actually so it's 
multiple purposes, that's for sure. But that's basically this little gizmo. Easy way to clean the charging port. Now the best way to really increase the audio quality and the active noise cancellation for the AirPods Pro is to upgrade the silicone tips to memory foam tips. And let's go ahead and find some good ones right now. So this one has about 15,000 reviews, pretty good positive overall star ratio rating. This one's pretty neat. This one actually looks new. And I like the fact that it comes in this cool little case. But let's see what other options we have. We have these orange ones, which have a terrible review rating. These blue ones, which look okay. I'm gonna go ahead and actually go with this one, all because it says this is the newest version, the 4.0. So these guys clearly have some experience. And we have the size choices to choose from as well if we wanna get the complete package. But the silicone tips that I personally use is a small size. So I'm gonna go ahead and select small. And I like the fact you can actually select different colors. I don't know if I wanna go with gray or if I wanna go with the traditional white. But then again, earwax can get messy, so I should select black. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart. And here they are in that fine glory and nice package, pretty cool. Now we just have to open this thing up. Oh, that actually has a tear side right here. No need for the butter knife now. But they'll gain it now, it's questionable. I'm just gonna rip the box. Cool, container, neat design, uh, a personal written thank you for choosing us. Oh, it's just printed multiple times, but looks like it. Don't wanna read. <laughs> but here it is. Since we selected small, we do have three pairs for backups in case one tears, which is quite nice. And taking it out, super easy and convenient. I'm going to go ahead and swap these. And yes, I am definitely testing out the noise cancellation. And see if I actually do notice an improvement as well as a better fitting experience with these things on. So there it is. Definitely memory foam because I easily put my fingerprint on it. So here goes nothing. Put these on. Now they do squeeze in and then ask the memory foam, you know, like memory foam typically does. I have noticed these get in and then it just gets tighter. And the fitment, yeah, it's identical to the small silicone tips that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and play some sound. Active noise cancellation is enabled. On the thoughts, uh, forget about the hooks. Just get one of these memory foam tips. It does an excellent job in sealing it, but in addition to that, not only does it do a good job in terms of like sealing it so there's no sound leakage to give you a better noise cancellation experience, but that seal actually does support the AirPods Pro earbud from easily falling off. So these actually make these feel more stable in your ear. So I highly recommend these, especially when you combo it with that silicone cover. I'm pretty sure that also aids it as well. Now the neat thing about the second generation AirPods Pros is that they actually have support for a lanyard. Let's go ahead and find some pretty cool ones. So I already know something, they all share this weird similar design. So unfortunately there's not that many options. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the one that's actually on sale right now for $5. And we're gonna go ahead and select it in a black color. It has an F rating, but it's a lanyard. How bad can it be? Add the cart. So no surprise for an F product, just comes in the standard Ziploc bag. Ah, oh, why is it so challenging to remove? Ah. God, I really have to wedge my fingernails in there. Here it is. Why does it include this? A SIM card remover? Okay. I mean, it's a useful tool if I need to, like, need something thin to actually go in here. But this should be super easy. There should be no need to have that SIM card removal, is there? No, it just pops out right away. And then this just loops on, of course. Um, okay. There you go. What's the point of the SIM card removal? Are they expecting us to also change our SIM card? And it doesn't even work that way anymore. The new iPhones are, like, e-SIM cards now. But, yeah. Lanyard also has this knee hook like all the other ones so you can actually like loop it in if you need to like attach it to like a backpack or something which is quite nice. If this was like on my belt or something like that it has this cool locking thing but aside from that it's just a lanyard. Not bad for five bucks just not sure why I include a sim card removal. Now a while ago I did put out a video testing the best of the best in terms of maximum protection for the AirPods Pros. If you're looking for a case, you can check out that video right over there. All of them were great. I done a tier list and showing you which one offers the best protection and which one does it and which one actually is best overall in terms of value and stuff. So feel free to watch that video. But one case that was highly recommended and suggested in the comic section was the ESR Cyber Armor case because this case right here actually does support MagSafe. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to cart. And this one has a unique feature because this is actually one of the only cases out there in the market that actually uses magnets to properly secure your AirPods from accidentally opening up in case you drop them. So here it is, apply that coupon code and let's add this to cart. And here it is, the highly rated, fully protective AirPod case cover for the AirPods Pros. And yes, these do support the second gen AirPods. And 
here it is. And yes, it does have a magnetic strength to make sure that the seal definitely does stay shut, as well as additional tools here. So you have the little carabiner and this little stand thing for some weird reason, as well as additional tape in case the one you have here fails. And I mean, it's not that complex, complicated. You just simply slide your AirPods in, attach the top portion by removing the sticky portion right here. You can see the magnets right here as well. And it's just easily attaches and that's it. It does require a bit more pressure to open them. There is no problems whatsoever fitting in our fully loaded AirPods Pro second generation in this case. And I gotta say, it definitely does make everything look beefy. Now these do support MagSafe, which is why it has magnets right here. So let's go ahead and dock this into a MagSafe and see how great it is. MagSafe, so it should increase the MagSafe strength. And yes, it does as this is a MagSafe dock and it has no problem connecting and staying put. That's usually a con with a thicker AirPod case is that you lose MagSafe capabilities. These strengthen that and still has charging capabilities as you can witness right here. Now I do want to do a drop test from a two-story height, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I do live on a two-story home. Don't mind the mess. Things are under construction like always. And uh, I am uh, going to definitely drop these from this height, if I can open up and verify that these are indeed AirPods that we've been featuring in today's video. So, drop test in three, two, one. Ooh, that sounded weird. Well, unfortunately, the case opened up and the earbuds are on the floor, and the top portion unfortunately came apart. But the AirPods are protected, and I'm pretty sure they're still operational. Yep, they still work. Not a single mark. And those are the accessories that we have on our AirPods Pro second generation to really give it the maximum protection, the best sound quality, and the best overall AirPods Pro experience. So if you'd like to find out where you can go ahead and find these accessories, they'll all, of course, be linked in the video description down below, as well as the timestamp where they all each start. But now, real quick, before you click off on this video, comment down below, what do you like to name this video accessory product series that we are doing right now? Feel free to comment down below a name, a suggestion for this series. And if picked, you'll be forever credited in the video description down below for these future accessory videos. Now, if you have a suggestion for another product to find some accessories for, also feel free to comment down below. I'll do my research and possibly go ahead and do that. Aside from that, if you wish to watch more, highly recommend checking out this video over here where we go through the best accessories you could find for the Apple Watch Ultra. And then that video over there, that's just a video YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.